Oh hi guys, welcome back to the Crumbs and Doilies HQ and I'm here with like the entire Crumbs and Doilies gang because we have so many cakes to ice which is really exciting. We've got like all of the different cakes going on here and this is something super special. This is like an ultimate chocolate cake. So inside I've got chocolate sponge, it's got a white chocolate drip and this icing is the best icing you'll ever eat and it is caramelised white chocolate Swiss meringue buttercream. And I thought even though it's pretty busy here, um, I'm probably able to steal an hour or so to head over to the other end of the kitchen and show you guys how to make it because it is so delicious you will be wanting to put it on absolutely everything which is totally fine you can definitely do that so I've shown you how to make caramelized white chocolate once before in a Tuesday tip video but we use the microwave which is ace if you have a microwave but a lot of you were saying you don't have a microwave how else can you do it so as we're going to make this icing I thought well we'll do it a different way this time and we'll do it in the oven which is just as easy it just takes a little bit longer maybe 45 minutes to an hour in total um, which isn't too long and it's totally worth it. Uh, so I've got about 250 grams um, of white chocolate chips here. The white chocolate I'm using is a really high quality. We've got 28% cocoa solids. Anything above that is absolutely awesome. Um, anything below is going to maybe be a little bit grainy once you've kind of caramelized it. So if you're able to get a good quality one, I would always say definitely go for it. Right, so I've got it on my baking tray. And all we're going to do to begin with is start by putting it in the oven. My oven is set to 120 degrees C with a fan and we're just going to put it in for 10 minutes. So I'll see you in 10. Okay, our first 10 minutes is nearly up. So we're going to check our chocolate and as you can see it is just melted white chocolate which is exactly as it should be at this stage. So what we're going to do now, and we're going to do this every 10 minutes until we've got the right colour, is we're just going to give it a good stir, spreading it around your baking tray. Obviously it is hot so do be careful, make sure it doesn't splash up in your face or anything like that. So give it a good spread around and then we'll put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes and we're going to do exactly the same until we get to that really delicious caramelised white chocolate colour. Okay, this is looking so close to being done. I think just another 10 minutes and it will be spot on. So let's pop that back on, but we can get on with making the Swiss meringue buttercream. And that's gonna start over here, over a bain-marie. So first of all, I need three egg whites. So it's gonna crack those into this bowl. And you can keep your egg yolks to make some lemon curd or lime curd. We've done a few recipes for these, I think, so I'll make sure to put those in the description box. So along with the three egg yolks, I've got 225 grams of caster sugar. I'm gonna put that in with the eggs, and then I'm gonna very gently just stir it together just to kind of combine it before putting it over a bain-marie. So bain-marie um, is a saucepan with a small kind of inch or so of water in it. What we need to do first is bring that to the boil. As soon as it's boiling, drop it down to a simmer and pop our bowl on top. And now all we need to do is keep stirring this. You don't need to kind of whisk it and whip it up. We're just keeping it moving. And we just want to wait until the sugar is completely dissolved. So you can test that out by dipping your finger in and rubbing it between uh, finger and thumb. And once the sugar is completely gone, it's nice and smooth, then we'll take it off. Perfect. So what we need to do now is whip this up so it's nice and meringue -y. So I'm going to dump this into the bowl of my food mixer. If you don't have one of these, you can use the whisk uh, attachment on your hand uh, mixer, but it takes a little while, so you might be there kind of standing for a bit, but, you know, it's all worth it. Right, so I've got my balloon whisk here, and I'm going to turn it on to a nice high speed. I'm just going to leave it whipping until it's completely cool to the touch but I think now our chocolate is probably ready, so let's get it out of the oven. So look at this, it is absolutely amazing. And when you stir it, and you might have noticed each time when you take it out of the oven, it can come across as being a little bit kind of stiff, 
but once you stir it, it all comes back to nice liquidy kind of form. So now we just need to give it a good stir and then we're going to leave it to cool down completely until we need it later. Okay, this is feeling pretty cool, but I'm just going to check it with my finger because what we need to do now is add butter and if we add butter to this when it's warm, it's just going to melt the butter and it's going to go all soupy and it's not going to work. So we're going to keep the mixer on a medium speed and I'm going to add 200 grams of soft unsalted butter and I'm going to add it one little nugget at a time because if we added all of this butter at once it will collapse all the air that we've just created, again ruining it. So just one small little nugget at a time until it's all in and then we'll get the speed back up again. Okay, so the funny thing about Swiss meringue is when you add your butter, sometimes it can look a little bit soupy and soft and people think that they've made it wrong, but just keep whipping it and you'll see that pretty quickly it will kind of come together and it will be really nice and thick and fluffy just like this. So don't kind of give up if you get to that soupy stage, just honestly keep whipping it and it will come back. So now it's time to add our chocolate, it's cooled down. I'm going to pour all of it into here and then we'll mix it through. Okay, this is ready. Let's just take it off and have a little look inside. Mm, so nice and it's so smooth and honestly, it's just, I love piping and decorating cakes with this as well because it is so soft and smooth and silky. So just fill up my piping bag with a bit of this. And don't forget you can now buy these nice reusable piping bags online on cupcakegemma.com along with all the nozzles that Gemma and I showed you last week. We gave you some tips on how to use them as well. Um, so I've got my 1M on here because it's just a really nice classic star nozzle for your cupcakes. And we will get piping. I hope you can see how amazingly silky this looks because it really, really is. And it smells incredible too. You have to make it just so you can smell it and then eat it. And I can't wait, I'm gonna eat this right now. Mm. I love it. Swiss meringue icing is the best anyway because it's not too sweet. Sometimes I find American buttercream a little bit too sweet. So Swiss is perfect for me perfect view if you're not a super fan of the kind of sweetness either and the caramelized white chocolate I mean there is honestly nothing better so please make this Gemma's also I'm pretty sure she did like a chocolate chip cookie with caramelized white chocolate chunks in it so we'll find that too because that's another great way of using the caramelized white chocolate and I'm pretty sure also that she might be back next week with a recipe I don't want to make too many promises but Fingers crossed, she'll be here next Thursday with a recipe for you guys. Until then, please make this. Tag us on Instagram with uh, hashtag Cupcake Gemma. Let us know how you get on in the description box below. There's probably other stuff I've got to tell you, but I really just want to eat this cupcake. <laughs> mm.